Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can add a picture over a video on DaVinci Resolve. So firstly just simply click inside media pool over here then just simply right click on a blank space in the media pool section then just simply click import media then just simply go to the place where you have saved the image that you want to add over the video so just go to the location then just simply click on the image that you want to add then just simply select it and then press open. And as you can see, the image has been uploaded in the media pool. Now what you have to do is just simply drag and drop onto the timeline. So as you can see, I just dragged it onto the timeline. Now let's put over the video. So for doing that, make sure to keep your image on top of the video like this. So now if I take my player head over the image, you will see that the image is right in the center of my screen. Now if I want to customize this image a little bit, because I don't want this to block my entire video while being in the center. So what you have to do is just simply click on the inspector tab over here and open the inspector panel. Over here you will have multiple options like zoom, position, rotation, anchor point, page A and flip. And more options down here like cropping, dynamic zoom and etc. But for now, we will just be focusing on this particular option. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is change the position of the image by simply changing the X value over here. Then I will just simply decrease the size of the image over here by again in the zoom by changing the x value now again i will change the position in the x value in positions now i will use the x value for changing the position in the vertical form you can also change the anchor point if you want to you can also change the pitch if you want that you also have that option you can also change the yay you can also flip the image if you want that for some reason and you also have the rotation angle setting over here if you want to use it you will find right over here now the last thing that you have to know is if you want to reset any setting that you made over here what you have to do is just simply click this circular icon over the setting that you just made so for example in the rotational angle i will just simply click this icon over here and that will reset to the original form and i can do this for all of them like zoom position anchor point and it is now back in the default state when it was firstly brought into the timeline so that's it and thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care